As many of you guys know, I really enjoy getting my hair cut in different countries around the world. It's always a fun cultural experience and it's usually funny because most of the barbers have never cut red hair before. Some haircuts I've had have been amazing while others not so much. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you five crazy haircut experiences I've had around the world and we begin in Venezuela. What's up everyone? Right now I'm walking on the streets of Caracas, Venezuela and it's time for you to get a haircut. My hair is long, it's been a while since I've cut it. Here in this neighborhood, we're gonna try to find um, a barber shop that's on the street and I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to get a haircut in Venezuela. Hola amigo, can you cut my hair? But I wanna have like number, number three, number three for everything. I don't want the fancy like, Street cut. Dice que solo quiere que le pase la máquina número 3 en todo el pelo y ya. Rapidito. Tres minutos corte algo okay. así. Yeah? Yeah. Great. Vamos, can you hold my hat? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Un dólar. One dollar. One dollar. Yeah. One dollar for a street cut here in Caracas. Yeah. I think that's the cheapest thing that you will do here in Caracas. <laughs> right now I'm getting a haircut on the streets of Caracas, Venezuela literally on the street and it costs only a dollar there's a guy watching us in the window right there <laughs> so yeah that's what's happening right now and he's actually doing a pretty good job so far this barber was surely getting every fine detail that i could imagine and i was pleasantly surprised by how it was turning out i gotta stop talking because he's right next to my mouth ask him if he's ever cut red hair before no never no. First time he ever cut them over the red hair. <laughs> that was a great haircut. This guy did a really good job, like 9 out of 10. Beautiful perfume, man, you know. Look pretty, smell pretty. It burns. Because he just shaved my ah. Burns. <laughs> That was such an insane haircut and I still can't believe that it was only one dollar. For the next chop experience, I take you to one of my favorite countries in the world, Afghanistan. I'm in Kabul, Afghanistan and I'm getting a beard trim literally on the sidewalk of a busy road. I'm not sure how clean these are, but I'm not gonna think about that. Yeah, I'm gonna skip. There. What were you expecting? I was expecting like a seat or something. Sometimes there's a seat, sometimes there's not. Oh, guys, never hide us, hide. Ah, he yanked the hair. It really hurt. Those scissors make me nervous. Don't move, don't move, don't move. I'm fully trusting you with your life right now, dude. Yeah. I have not been this scared in a long, 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 long time. Out of all my time in Afghanistan, this is the most scared I've been. No, no. Leave the... Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm total. All right, so. That was a great beard trim. Teshakur. How much does that cost? So, 80 cents. 70 to 80 cents for that beard trim. Awesome. Great. Thank you so much. That was just scary. That was an experience. Out of all the haircuts I've gotten, I think that was the, the wildest. You're next! That beard trim was really something else and I actually thought he was gonna cut my face, but it turned out to be flawless. For the next haircut, we hop across the Middle East to Iraq, where my experience wasn't so great. You're about to get a haircut from a little barber on the side of the street. You need a haircut more than me, bro. My style is longer than yours, so. Let's do it, let's get some haircuts in Baghdad, Iraq. Don't leave me here. Like, huh? don't leave. <laughs> Haircut time in Baghdad, Iraq. <laughs> what is he doing? He's not cutting it. He's just like barely touching it. That was that was useless. <laughs> I don't like what he's doing, man. Tell him to actually cut it. No, but he's like barely touching my hair. Tell him to actually cut it off. Now he's doing a little bit better, but still.
still three out of ten. Okay. We gotta go to the swimming pool. Uh, He's changing it. I don't think that's a good go to the swimming pool. Without notice, I'm getting a changed number. <laughs> what number is it now? Number four. No, no, no. What? George. It's the most complicated bus that I've ever seen. I know. It should be all the same. Shorter. Doing alright on the beard, but. Hello, the hair was Really cool. Wait, I swear. I'm not saying it's I swear. I'm not saying it's not. 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 I swear. I'm I'm ready to be done. Tell him it's done. Let's go. Sugar. Sure, sure. 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 And we're done. Obviously that haircut was a hot mess, but I'm still glad I got to experience one in Baghdad. For the next cut, I'm gonna take you to my favorite city in Turkey called Diyarbakir. Getting a haircut here in Diyarbakir, Turkey. Okay. Abi, how many years have you been cutting hair? Abi, how many years have you been cutting hair? 60. 60? He's 70 years old and he's doing it for 60 years. Yeah. 60 years. That's insane. A master and he's choking me. <laughs> And for the final haircut experience, we head over to a country that I lived in for 18 months and one of my all time favorites, Thailand. Okay, let's go. Thank you. What do you guys think? I think it's a pretty damn good haircut and I'm definitely going back there again next time. As you guys can see, getting haircuts in different countries is a wild experience. I highly recommend you to give it a try and if you already have, please comment below and let me know what your favorite experience was. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm Drew Binsky and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and ring that little bell so you can get notified on all my upcoming videos as I take you to every single country in the world.